Hi everyone, today's video is going to be about luxury designer items that I would buy again and again. These are my holy grail luxury designer purchases, my most successful luxury designer purchases, and I would repurchase each one of these in a heartbeat. Some of them I have actually already repurchased in different colors, and some of them I plan to repurchase in the future. This is a tag video, so thank you so much, Danny, for tagging me. I love the videos from this tag because they show the best of the best and the tried and true from the luxury designer world, and I'm happy to be a part of it. So be sure to check out her video as well. It will be linked in the description box below. And now let's start. In no particular order, here is item number one, the Max Mara Icon Coat. I absolutely love this coat. I love everything about this coat. The fabric, the fit, the quality, the length. Every single time I wear it, someone asks me where it's from. I've gotten so, so many compliments on this coat. So all I can say is that they call it an icon for a reason, because it really is an iconic coat to have. I definitely see myself having more of these in the future in more colors. It has been worth every penny. Item number two is something tiny but mighty, and it's the Louis Vuitton key case for six keys in the Damier print. I wouldn't buy more of these because I think that one is completely enough for me, However, if I ever lost it, I would buy it again in a second. Very easy to use, very easy to open and close. This is how I usually use it to unlock the door. And the Damier print, it goes with all of my bags. It's super, super easy to match. And most importantly, it protects my bags from the inside so that my keys would not scratch my bags from the inside. For item number three, I am going to cheat a little bit because it's going to be a category of luxury designer sunglasses. And there are three pairs that I could not live without. The Black on Black Saint Laurent Aviators, the Bottega Gold Frame Brown Lens can I call them aviators as well? And the black on black classic Gucci rectangular frame sunglasses. I, I just can't live without these anymore. I never leave the house without sunglasses and I just love the feeling of good quality sunglasses. I do, however, buy most of my sunglasses on sale or at outlets. So for example, this pair I bought on sale from Flannels. This pair I got from Matches Fashion with a discount code, I think. And the Gucci pair I bought from Tax Free a very, very long time ago when I used to travel. <laughs> so if you can be, be patient with sunglasses because I got basically three pairs for the price of two. Okay, so since I already kind of cheated, I figured that item number four is also going to be a category because it's simply impossible for me to choose between these two pairs of dad sandals. I love dad sandals, Chanel and Hermes in particular. It will never be enough. I will never ever have enough. I honestly don't remember. What did I even use to wear before that sandals? Anyway, it doesn't matter. If I was a sandal, I would be a dad sandal. And if I get to grow old, then I will be the coolest granny on the block because I'll have the nicest, ugly dad sandals. Staying on the topic of sandals, I simply had to include these the iconic and classic Hermes Oran sandals. I got my first and currently only pair of Oran sandals last year and without a doubt, sooner or later, I will get more. It's just such a beautiful, understated, easy to style pair of sandals 
that I cannot help but want more of these. And I have also found them very comfortable. In all honesty, it took me like a good day or two to wear them in. The first day, I am pretty sure that I had some blisters, but once they are worn in, they are so comfortable. I remember that many years ago, I used to watch other people on YouTube unbox box after box of these sandals. And I was thinking like, why do you need 20 pairs of the same sandal? And now I get it. I get it. <laughs> Something that I totally did not expect to love as much as I do, but now cannot live without is this pair of Dior Dior Camp boots. I've said this before and I'll say it again. When I made the purchase of these boots, my rational brain was literally screaming at me like, what did you do? Did you seriously just spend a thousand euros on rubber boots? Like, have you officially gone crazy? But at the same time, my gut was telling me like, just see, just just see what's going to happen. And my gut was right. I adore these boots. I cannot imagine my life without these boots anymore. They're just so cool and edgy looking, but at the same time, they are so easy to style. And they're also very comfortable. This is just the perfect pair of boots to wear on a rainy day, but at the same time, they are not limited to rainy days only. Okay, and now let's get into bags. And I have five that I would replace without thinking. And number one is not going to be a surprise. It is my Fendi baguette. I mean, I cannot imagine a day in my life in which I would not recommend this bag. It's versatile, you can use it as a top handle bag as a shoulder bag and also as a crossbody bag. It's also super comfortable to use, it's the perfect size and it's also very easy to style. I mean, I love absolutely everything about this bag and I would definitely love to have more of these because they have so many different variations of this bag that I would really love to have this bag in a pop of color. I think that it would be such a great addition to my handbag collection. So fingers crossed that this year is finally going to be the year when she gets a little brother or sister. Next up is my Prada nylon tote bag. I am a small bag person. I use tote bags only for beach and travel. I don't think I use them for any other occasions. And this is my absolute favorite travel tote bag. I would call it like classic Prada with a twist because it's the signature Prada nylon, but it's puffy like a pillow. So it's such a cool bag. It's a bag that is very lightweight. It also has a zipper to keep everything secure. And it also has an adjustable, detachable, thick canvas strap. Okay, next up, I mean, I had to include her. This is my Birkin 25 in black toggle leather with rose gold hardware. And I'm obsessed. I love this bag so much. At first, it was a little bit weird. I have to admit, it was a little bit weird because it just felt so surreal to have this bag. There's just so much hype around it that for me, just, um, I don't know, an average Jane with Ikea furniture to have this bag, it felt unbelievable. So I didn't know how I'm going to feel about this bag when I actually start using it. And all I can say is that I want more. I mean, I'm so, so grateful to have this one, to have a single Birkin in my handbag collection. So if I never get another one, it's still totally and completely fine. But if the opportunity comes, then 
yeah i would love to have more of these there is a reason to the hype and the craftsmanship the quality of this bag is just it's amazing moving on to another bag that i can't imagine not having in my life anymore and it's the prada crystal re-edition 2000 every single time i take this bag out it gets compliments it is my most complimented bag ever obviously it's such a great evening bag but it is also a great day-to-day -day bag because it's super spacious it's lightweight it's very easy to use easy to carry you can pop it on your shoulder use it as a top handle bag so this is just such a beautiful bag and most importantly look at it shine the camera doesn't do it justice but look at all the sparkle i had wanted a crystal bag for so many years and i'm so happy that prada made my crystal dreams come true and finally a girl needs some chanel in her life this is another bag that i want more of i don't know why i was so late to jump on the train of the mini rectangular top handle bags but i want one of these in every color of the rainbow i want the minis more than i want the chanel classic flaps and i was actually thinking about it quite a lot if i want to include the chanel classic flap on this list because as much as i love this bag i just can't imagine paying that much money for it again to pay it once was a hard pill to swallow but since it was a dream bag you know i just hid the receipt very very far away and try not to think about how much i spent on it but to pay even more for it now i just i don't know if i could honestly i don't know because i think that i would rather have two of these for the same price literally the same price as one of these of course a chanel classic flap is always going to be a chanel classic flap no mini is going to replace it but at this time i just think that this is such a better value it is still very classic chanel but without the crazy price point you know never say never because i would love to have more chanel classic flaps but at this point in my life at this time it just doesn't seem very realistic unfortunately so that's it for my video today guys i hope that you enjoyed it and i hope that you found it useful if you did don't forget to subscribe to my channel because i do love talking about fashion so let's stay in touch and i'll see you in my next video bye guys stay safe